Good morning, everybody. This is the Stitching Kitchen in San Antonio, Texas. And look who I have with me, Miss Nora Adams Corbett of Mirabilia. Are we lucky or what? Hi, Nora. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Have you enjoyed your weekend? Yes, I have. I met so many amazing people. You should see some of the women's stitchery that Nora has designed. And we take fabric and threads and we create her designs on this fabric. So your new design is called Muka. Yes. Talk to us about okay, it. Okay, so Muka is, she's she's in the woods and she was supposed to like really have um, the same feeling as Fairy Idol, you know, just that sleeping in the woods thing. I don't know what my thing is with that, but like, you know, I'd love to be in a bed in the woods. And so she, um, is in the woods and then I was trying to figure out a name for her, I had her all done and she has this really interesting hair, yes. which I just was doing it and I thought, should I do the crazy hair? And then I'm just like, yeah, I like can't help it, I have to throw the Nora in there, yeah. you know, so yeah. I have to just like, it have to be me, like I couldn't, that's what I think makes my design special, so I always have to just, like, I just have to, like I can't, anyway, so I gave her the really interesting exotic hair. And it reminded me of, well, my favorite painter is Alphonse Muka. Okay. M-U-C-H-A. And so my son was like, name her Muka. M-O-O-K-A. So that's how she got her name because I wanted something different. And because she's definitely unique and not like, you know, like a Mary or, you know, she's just, she just didn't have a name. Sometimes they don't have a name until no. the end. Yeah. So, yeah. That's her name. There's an interesting piece on this Muka that... I fell in love, of course, with the fairy, and she's lounging on this big bed with pillows, and I looked in the upper right-hand corner, and there's this wonderful bowl, hanging bowl, and it's full of candles, and it's like it lights up the whole entire picture, and you put that in last, I right? put it in last, and I added, I think it was back from a retreat, maybe Australia, and I think she was just in her bed, and I was just like, why? what is this? What can I do? It's just not, I'm not feeling it. So then I just like started doing the draping of the, the beads and the, the hanging things. Oh, it's gorgeous. So, so yeah, so like it just lots of fun things to stitch yeah. on her and all moody. I think I can't wait to see what pick, what fabrics people pick for her because I think she will look amazing on a dark fabric. Yeah. So I think she's yeah. great. And you just recently moved to New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brooklyn, and, New York. Right. And she has been posting uh, statements about going to the museums and how do you find all these museums? I just love, I love it. I love it. I can't even tell you. It's like a religious experience. It's just, I can just go there. I've been there probably to the Met. I've been there, I've been there two months where I've probably been to the Met like five times. You know, I just go all the time with the membership. And it's just so inspiring to see. And then look at the, t the tapestries. And it's like I'm looking at cross stitch. And that is the way I always wanted my cross stitch to be like the tapestry that could be hanging for a million years. years yeah. And I always wanted them to be timeless. I really worked hard and tried to make them like, like that. So I get inspired. In fact, I really love the um, unicorn tapestries. And I always said I'd never do a unicorn because it just wasn't me. Okay. But now that I see these unicorn tapestries and they're such a classic old story, I might. Okay, so we have lots of things to look forward to. As usual, Nora told me last year that she's like two years ahead with some of her designs. So get your pocketbook ready and go out and earn some money so you can buy some Mirabilia patterns. And we want to thank Miss Leslie LaFleur right now for hosting these wonderful retreats for us. And, oh, and please visit her website under the sea fabrics because she has wonderful cross stitch fabrics that we should all be buying a piece of to keep her going to keep doing retreats. Oh, the fabric she does is yes, it's, 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 it's so, so wonderful. beautiful. Yeah. So we're going to say goodbye for now and maybe I'll get to see Miss Nora as sooner than later. And we want to thank you for watching the Stitching Kitchen and Richard reminded me to tell you like, subscribe and share. So thanks a lot from the Stitching Kitchen. We'll see you soon. And I'm going to do my usual get up out of the chair and look silly. I think that's cool.